This is question number 19. It says, in a supermarket, the probability that John buys fruit is 0 0.7. In the same supermarket, the probability that John independently buys vegetables is 0 0.4. We're asked to work out the probability that John buys fruit or buys vegetables or buys both. The question carries three marks. There are lots of different approaches you could use to this question. You could use a tree diagram, you could list a sample space, or you could just consider individual probabilities. I'm going to look at a couple of different ways. Doing the tree diagram, which I think is quite a long way round, but certainly give us a visual idea. We could have now on the first set of branches, fruit, and then on the second set, we can have vegetables. So if I do this, what I can say is now I'll have fruit or not fruit. And I'm going to use fruit dash, so F dash. If the probability that he buys fruit is 0 0.7, the probability that he doesn't is 0 0.3. We're told now John buying vegetables is independent. So I can put veg, not veg, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Again, these branches need to add to 1. Veg and not veg. 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. We're interested in John when he's buying either fruit or veg, or both. If we look at these branches, this is when he buys fruit and veg. This is when he buys fruit, but doesn't buy veg. This is when he doesn't buy fruit, but he does buy veg. And this is when he doesn't buy fruit, and he doesn't buy veg. All I'm going to do is consider these two branches and subtract this multiple away from one. You can, of course, work out all the others. All I'm going to say, though, is the following. We're interested in now 1 minus the probability that he doesn't buy fruit and he doesn't buy veg. So if we do that, we're going to have 1 minus 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.6. Remember, when we're doing and, so it's not fruit and veg, we multiply. So 1 minus now 0 0.3 times by 0 0.6 is going to give me 0 0.18. 0 0.18 from 1 is going to give me 0 0.82. So that's the probability now that John buys fruit or buys veg or buys both. I've just done 1 minus the probability that he buys neither. An alternative to this would just be a sample space. So we'd have fruit and veg. We'd have fruit and not veg. We'd have not fruit but veg, and then we'd have not fruit and not veg. All we'd want is this one. We would work out the probabilities and subtract that away from one. You can, of course, work out the probability of this one, add it to the probability of this one, and add it to the probability of this one. But if we had more options, this would now become quite uh, laborious. So I always like to do one minus the answer. So final answer, however you've got it, is going to be 0 0.82.